let's see our problem calculate the standard cell potential of galvanic cell in which the following reaction takes place he given this reaction calculate the delta g naught and equilibrium constant of the reaction let's see what he given he given this reaction and we have to calculate the standard cell potential of galvanic cell this is this is galvanic cell reaction for this cell reaction we have to calculate e naught cell and we have to calculate delta j naught and we have to calculate k see you know that e cell equal to e right minus e left now from this uh, reaction we have to identify which which is uh, which will be on right side and which will be on left side which is at cathode and which is anode which is undergoing oxidation and which is undergoing reduction from this reaction we have to identify see chromium is undergoing oxidation see chromium is undergoing oxidation cr is converting into cr3 plus so it is undergoing oxidation and cadmium is undergoing reduction cd plus 2 is converting into cd you know that in galvanic cell i'm sorry wait you know that in galvanic cell at anode see at anode always oxidation will happen and which will be on left side at cathode reduction will happen which will be always on right side now the electrode where reduction will happen that is e right so here where which one is undergoing reduction cadmium is undergoing reduction cadmium is undergoing reduction so e naught of cell equal to reduction potential of cadmium minus which one is undergoing oxidation chromium is undergoing oxidation which will be on left side see left side this is an daniel cell i am compared to this i am explaining this this uh, this galvanic cell so chromium is undergoing oxidation so which is on left side minus reduction potential of the chromium see even though here oxidation is happening we will take reduction potential only because all the electrode potential are measured in reduction potential so minus of reduction potential of chromium he didn't give on these values you have to consult the table so from table if you see this reduction potential of cadmium is minus 0.4 so minus of reduction potential of chromium is minus 0.74 and you simplify this one this is you will get e naught cell as 0.34 this is the standard cell potential of galvanic cell now we have to calculate delta g naught you know that delta uh, relation between delta g naught and uh, e naught cell so you can calculate see delta g naught equal to minus nf e naught cell in this you have calculated e naught cell just now you know this is faraday constant and see we have to find what is the value of n here see in this reaction chromium is undergoing oxidation see cr is converting into cr3 plus one chromium is undergoing to cr3 plus so three electrons will be liberating but to balance this equation we are taking two cr so by two chromium atoms two cr3 plus will be formed it means 2 into 3 6 electrons will be liberated how many 6 electrons will be liberated by 2 chromium atoms so 6 electrons 3 plus 2 3 into 2 sorry 3 into 2 6 electrons will be liberated and those 6 electrons will be consumed by this uh, cadmium to undergo these cadmium ions those six electrons will be consumed by this cadmium ion to undergo reduction into cadmium see 
See, this is required 3 into 2 6 electrons are required for this those liberated electrons will consumed by this 3 cd 2 plus to convert into 3 cd so in this reaction how many electrons are uh, transferring see 6 electrons so n is 6 delta g naught equal to minus 6 into f value you know, you know that 96487 into just now you inert cell value just now you have calculated that is 0 0.34 when you simplify this one you will get uh, delta j naught value as 19 that is uh, 1 lakh 96 thousand eight eight hundred thirty three point four eight uh, actually it, it will be in joule per mole delta j naught uh, usually expressed in kilojoule per mole if you divide this by a thousand you will get in terms of kilojoule kilojoule per mole that is 196.833 this has to become kilojoule kilojoule per mole now you have calculated the delta g naught value now you have to calculate k k that is the equilibrium constant you know this relation that is delta g naught equal to minus r into t ln of k in this you have to point this equilibrium constant you know delta g naught you know r value that is 8.314 and you know temperature is not mentioned standard temperature is 298 kelvin so take that one only now delta g naught is this value take joule for mole only don't take kilojoule for mole because standard unit only you take minus 19 uh, 1 lakh this minus 1 lakh 96,833 equal to minus 8.314 into temperature is 298 into log of k take these two terms this side and they will get divide when you simplify this one you will get uh, 79.44 see minus minus sign will get cancel here now you want value of k so if you take this uh, log this side it will become nt log so nt log of this number see here it is logarithm of base e so you have to look at the table logarithm of base e so nt log of this number is 3.18 into 10 to the power 34 this is the equilibrium constant that's it the problem thank you subscribe to my channel to get more videos like the video share the video and spread worldwide to help others